Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to another live stream. Hope everyone's week is starting out awesome. It's, uh, what day is it already? Like Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. It feels like it should be Friday already, but it's not. <laughs> but welcome everyone to Elden Pudding, where I get squished into pudding by giant monsters with weapons that are larger than my body. Because, I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. If you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. Uh, as always, a big thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. I do appreciate the support. And a special thanks to all of our top tier Mistakes Were Made members that were highlighted right at the start of the stream. And I'm in the wrong game. Well, that's up. Uh, a few times now. That darn continue button. Thought it was Wednesday today, man. I wish it was Wednesday. I mean, I guess if you're on the other side of the world for me, it's, it's Wednesday for you, but... Not quite hump day here yet. Still, uh, still another day of that funness to go. A few more days until the weekend. And incidentally, as I've been reminding people a few times now so far, uh, this coming weekend we are going to be doing a 12-hour live stream on Saturday. Uh, it'll be from 12 Eastern times, so or like noon until around midnight Eastern, uh, doing a charity stream in support of Covenant House Toronto, uh, who supports the uh, uh, homeless youth, as well as uh, those who are, uh, are being trafficked and at risk. Uh, so hopefully people can come out and join that as well. Yes, incompetent was his name. That's the way. That's what I named that other character. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we got this cool armor the last time we were playing. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Rather liking it. Got some good defensiveness to it. The horns are kind of funky, but you know, whatever. It's like I got a bad hair day going on. A uh, couple of things I want to tackle today. I guess we might push up here into some new stuff that we haven't done yet. That'll be fun. Uh, we can go up to like, the lava zone area, but way down here at the beginning. As I was uh, reminded in uh, in Discord, uh, we haven't done the swamp thing down here yet, but there's a dragon hanging out down here. So maybe we'll see if we can kill that guy. And then we need to check out the ruins down here too. And see what's up with that. Oh, and there's also a guy uh, in this French Folk Heroes grave that I kind of want to go tackle. Who, um, he has, um, shoot, what's that thing that uh, we use for holy spells? Got a, he's got an item that I need anyway that makes uh, dragon spells more powerful. So I'd kind of like to get my hands on that and see how it scales compared to the one that I have. Uh, for other spell types too. So we'll see how that plays out. We'll try that first, I guess. He, hopefully he's relatively easy to kill uh, given our power level right now. Just happened to find one of the best swords in the game last stream. Oh, you did? Which, uh, which one was that? I haven't... I have a few, I have so many weapons that I'm never going to use, it's great. I'm, I'm starting my own personal arsenal of things that are going to be like, just on display. <laughs> never actually do it. If he finds the, uh, finds the boss, there'll be plenty of dying. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, uh, so I killed, uh, I actually killed the one boss that's in here already. But there's a second one that I didn't do. I want to go fight. Higher mercenaries. <laughs> but at the same time, though, definitely not a Wednesday morning. Oh, that's a shame. Non Wednesdays suck. So, what is it called? This is a seal. Anyway, there's a there's like a there's like a, a dragon seal that you can get in here. I think that. Uh, kind of curious to see how it works out. I know it makes uh, it makes dragon spells more powerful, but I'm curious how it scales with other types of spells. Run, buddy, run! Just run! Is this the spot? Not the spot. Oh! I'm not done with you guys yet. Alright. This is where I wanted to go. He's it! I think better not be turning behind me. <laughs> if it is, we might have problems. Blood Uchi Katana is so good. Yeah, I haven't gotten the Blood Uchi Katana yet. I'm still using the regular one. I like the Unsheath ability. It hits for a ton of damage. I kind of rather like, I must say. Yeah, I want to to scoop by these guys. Oh, shoot at somebody else. If we're lucky we can get them to run out when the... Uh, this is the guy I want. What are you doing up here still? <laughs> One hit kill. You can use some cheese. Do you think it like 
cheddar or gouda or like what? Put a light in here too. I mean, add blood to my regular one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I sometimes will do that when I'm fighting bosses, but I, I like the... Uh, I'm a really big fan of this unsheath ability. Ow! Alright, that was badly timed. That was not the unsheath ability, but it's not going to matter in a moment. Dead. Yeah, we're a little overpowered for fighting this guy, but that gives us the Dragon Communion Seal. Which boosts dragon spells. Uh, how's it compared to what I have? Wow, it has significantly worse scaling. <laughs> Alright, this may not have been worth coming down here for, but... Forms Drake Blood Seal with a Dragon Communion Crest. Enhances Dragon Communion Incantations. Sacrificial Devourer of the Heart gives power. Indeed, Dragon Communion is too primal in nature for the term incantation to be appropriate. The seal scales incantations with the one's arcane attribute. That's actually not awesome for me because my arcane's not that high. Probably better using the faith scaling one that I've got already. Alright, well at least we didn't waste a whole bunch of time like trying to kill a bunch of stuff down here. We, I, th I think I can port out. Yeah. All right, we'll go back outside. Completionist. No, I just I thought it might actually be better for me for using dragon spells, but it's not really looking like it. We're never going to get 100% of the stuff in here. There's just too many things that are hidden all over the place. Uh, but the dragon down here was what I was thinking we'd mess around with today initially. Uh, there's also like a ruin over here that um, apparently there's a twin blade in that we can get. Now, I think I got the twin blade already from somewhere else. You know what's better than one twin blade? That's right, two of them. <laughs> I kind of wonder if you can... If you can power stance twin blades. Like, one in each hand. Or would it even be worth doing? <laughs> Woo, 600 incoming. Oh yeah, we're only like one away. We'll get there, don't you worry. We're overachievers in that space. No, oh, what did? That was a dog. There's a dog in that there base. I don't know that I've done any of this in here. Did I avoid this because these guys were too tough before, or did I like run into the dragon and I stopped? Obviously they're not too tough now, but ow, stop fighting me. Ow, I'm defeated by my nemesis, Torch! There we go. I honestly can't recall if I went down in here or not. What? Oh, good. Heard somebody talking quietly, like flame of a keel burn true or something, whatever that is. You thought my nemesis was bear. No. They're just a plague on my existence. Well, there's much point in scouring this whole thing. Probably not going to be much here that's worth... ...worth grabbing too much right now, just because we've already done so much. Whatever, we'll go inside and see what's in here. I'm gonna go wolf spiders, oh god, no, they're just my nightmares. That was not what I intended, but alright, that works. <laughs> I meant to hold my shield up. Oh, look at light. Die, rat, die! Oh god, there's a whole bunch of them. Way more swings to kill a rat than necessary, but... Alright. This. Oh, God! I wonder where that goes. 
All right. That's another one of those teleport traps. Let's not do that yet. We'll do the teleport trap thing after I find out. It's down here. I think the twin blade is in this other uh, other area in here. Should be where the twin blade is. Roll the death counter. We haven't died yet. Give me the chance to die first. Twin blade. All right. So I think I think I have two twin blades. Oh no! One's the gargoyle's twin blade, and then this other one's just a regular twin blade. Sword blades on both sides of the hilt. This weapon is difficult to wield and demands high dexterity. It can be wielded with single hand, but its true strength is unlocked with dual-handed spinning attacks. You know we got to find out. It's a graceful looking weapon, that's for sure. That's the, uh, the power attack thing. Jumping stabbiness, that's good. What happens if you attack when you're crouched with it? Oh, you got like an upward slash thing. That's cool. I like it. Can you, does, it make, does it make lightsaber noises? I kind of want to make my guy look like Darth Maul now. We can run around with this thing. You can get this like right at the right at the beginning of the game too, because if you had the horse, you really wouldn't have to kill anything. You just jump in here and grab it. Kind of want to play with it. I'm obviously not spec for it right now, but that's cool. What if we did dual-handed ones? Let's see what happens. If we do. We'll put the gargo one in one hand. We'll put the uh, the twin blade in the other hand. Where is it? Like being a giant Cuisinart. I'm a blender. I'm a blender. Oh, that's cool. Jump attacks are neat. Yeah, that does look kind of cool. <laughs> I, I kind of wanted to do that. Uh, I'm not powered enough for that though. That is cool. Dual twin blades. That would be uh, that would be something. All right, let's go see where that other chest takes us. If I go grab it. Oops. Yeah, my horse. Yeah, fox is unstoppable. As I run up to the first boss and just get splatted by it. I laugh in the face of your dual twin blades. Why am I crouched? Alright, where does this go? Ensnared in a transporter trap. Ultra Instincts Darth Maul. Yeah. <laughs> you put meat on it like a shish kebab? Oh, that'd be cool. To long load this one. That's concerning. You're looting. Taking so long to load. To leave a crystal tunnel. I feel like I've been in here before, but this chest isn't open. So I must not have been. A couple gravity stone things. Maybe I just missed a level in here or something. Oh god, they're shooting at me. Okay, look at you. Look at you with your bugginess. Okay, I definitely have not been in here. Trapped crystal, something or others. Uh, let's get this guy here. That's a miss. Oh, he got me on the way down, though. Ow.
Jerk. Wow, man, if you grab this thing like early on, you'd be in a lot of trouble over here. Oh, you know what? That might be that, uh, the one tunnel I didn't go into. It was by the city. You know the one. The one with the things and the stuff. Oh boy. There we go. What's that insect thing? I don't know. It's almost like some kind of weird centipede kind of guy. I don't really need to kill all these guys, but... I just feel obligated somehow, you know? So this, uh, having dropped this in right here is not going to be most conveniently placed thing. Oh, no! Ah, oh, Get the thing up there. Last! Can't jump up there now. Go out here though, right? Yeah. Try that again. I'll get whatever that thing is. The insects are called pests. Ooh, pests. Yeah, blunt weapons probably work well against these crystal guys. Ah! Oh, I saw like some of these guys are really susceptible to fire too. I don't know if it's these ones in particular because they're crystal, but... Okay, uh, I want to go over to here if we can. Ah, it pushed me off. That's cheating. Worst part is I'm going to get this thing and it's going to turn out just to be like a rune or something. Something not cool. You call the pest sometimes too? He's like, I, like sometimes, and by sometimes I mean daily. Ah, shoot. You know what? Forget it. It's probably not that important. <laughs> it's not glowing with its, uh, with the fancy blueness. It's just got the... Oh, hey, buddy. We can talk about this, right? A little blowing up. Oh, oh, my bitrate's sucking. Oh god, that's not good. Oh, uh, stream's probably looking a little bit choppy at the moment, folks. Sorry about that. I don't know why, but my bitrate just hit the toilet. Yeah, I don't know. My bitrate does not look good still. It's uh, significantly lower than what I normally run at. Yeah, usually Nick gets the better of the stick. I have good internet. I, mean, I have gigabit internet, but it's uh, not cooperating today, that's for sure. I mean, short of restarting the modem, it takes a lot longer. I don't know. No, no, it's not your computer. I've uh, So normally I stream at like... 18,000 kilobits per second, but I'm getting like six to eight thousand right now, which is uh, is a lot less No, it's I don't think it's an OBS update. It's oh now. It's just up to 29,000 28,000. It's just 30,000. Oh good It's all over the place good times. I don't know. We'll see how it goes With Any luck it will uh, cooperate for a little while and we can do what we need to it was not working <laughs> it's pushing like way more bit right now than I have it set for so you know we'll see what happens Hopefully it'll, it'll work out 
I don't know if there's any uh, any consistency behind the oh god ah, behind the Kojiko statuses, so there's probably not much point in checking them. I'm not convinced they actually update those things. Yeah, it's good right now. The uh, the bit rate looks smooth, so hopefully it will will continue on. Maybe we got three spells in here already. Crazy. It's crazy. You could climb on things. Yeah, you know, without a ladder, I mean. Yeah, it's good. It should be good for now. It's back up to the the rate I normally stream at. Hopefully, it will hold. We shall see, we shall see. Trying to low on the whole magic -y powers here. Low on focus points. I wish they could blow their friends up doing that. Oops, wrong spell. Almost 600 deaths, come on. Oh, sure, we'll get more. Absolutely. <laughs> Rack up the deaths, man. I'm kind of going the wrong way here. We're going upwards as opposed to down, but the boss is always at the bottom, so I figure we can get back to where the, uh, where the point of grace is, then at least we have a point to resurrect from. Oh, God. Sneaky <sighs> little jerk. Ow. Oh, you can backstab these guys. Dandy. By the way, Fox, your katana's OP, but you need to put uh, an Ash of War on it. Yeah, I, I do sometimes, but I like the... I really like this attack, which is why I haven't had one on there consistently. I keep changing it for something else. So like when I'm, when I'm fighting bosses, I've, I've tried, a, I've tried a, couple, a couple different ones. But that strong unsheathed attack, I just really like. It's quick to use, it does a bunch of damage, and it also uh, really smashes their poise. Faithful Canvas Talisman. I do. What does the Faithful Canvas Talisman do? Raises the potency of incantations. Oh. That could actually be handy for me, actually. I use incantations. I can do thems. A cheat is the best. I love it. Great. And the fact that I don't have a, a thing of war on here also lets me enchant my blade so I can... Oh, wait. Is that a boss right there? <laughs> I thought I was going back to, like, an entrance, but I found my way to the boss. So... Leave that one for the moment. Come back. I want to get a point that we can respawn here, as opposed to having to run all the way back in. Looks like a spot you can break through, but not so much. Stacker's OP, always 100% if you're level... Uh, yeah, this, um, my Uchi Katana is level 18, I think. Ow. Ah, oh, I missed. Ooh, God, that hurt. True narc. Make sure we don't die for no reason. Oh, I got back out here again. Don't want to try to get that stupid object. It, I almost guaranteed it's just going to be like a rune or something. Or maybe like... Maybe it'll be like a smithing stone of some kind. I gotta get jump over to here. Yeah, there we go. 
Put me down. I swear to God, game. Cuckoo Glintstone. Which I have too many, so it went, like, directly into my storage chest thing. Boy, sure glad we went for that. <laughs> oh, in fairness, I knew it was going to be trash. These guys paid, like, no attention to me until I stabbed them. Looks like Nightbot slowed today. Could be. Maybe because the stream got messed up earlier. I don't know. So I guess this one's a lower entrance and then you work your way upward. I actually went away from the uh, start of it, looks like. But that's all right. All in due time. I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're supposed to be like some sort of weird centipede creature or what the deal is, but whatever it is, they are not very nice, just for the record. Okay, so this is the cave that I had seen that I had not gone into yet, so that's good. Convenient. Teleported me right here. I didn't even have to use my whole brain memory thing. Which is good, because that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, if you kill my partner, I still mind. They're very single-minded, these guys, you know? Maybe he was like, if I just don't look at him, you'll leave me alone. Is there any reason to kill this guy? Other than pleasure? I got some cracked crystal. That that probably wasn't worth. It. Gave his life for nothing. So, oh, I gotta get back up there. We can go this way. No, we can't. Darn it! I gotta go back where that guy was. So the uh, the dude hanging on the beam down here. I'm saving 600 for Ashley. Yeah, I mean, if these guys kill me, that's a problem because I think we're pretty high level compared to what these guys are. We should should theoretically be well powered. To ah, son of a! That was on purpose. I planned that. Cryptic on the rock, shaken, not stirred. How's the game going? Good. I'm having so much fun with this game. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I really like these games. And they've, this one I find very well done. There's just so much to find, so much to discover and explore. So much to kill me and smash me into a fine, gooey paste. Hey, why does that guy have a ladder? I could have kicked the ladder down. Let's do that. Done that before, I guess. Okay, back to the boss. Don't start an unintentional death counter. I mean, that's that's how all my deaths happen. I mean, they they were pretty much all unintentional. I don't remember anywhere I was like, I'm gonna let's let's make myself die right now. of magics. So weird. 
Okay, let's see what this guy's deal is. Uh, we got our, blo our blockers ready. Might want to use them. We might not, but you bet it wins game of the year. Uh, it might. I, I guess it will depend on how it plays out, because sometimes people have short memories. They, they remember stuff that happens closer to when the, uh, the awards are. That is a giant whatchamacallit. I don't know what you are. I don't want to find out. Okay, what is that? Get some blockers in here. Oh, that took a, the rest of my... The rest of my focus points. He's not really susceptible to my electricity here, I don't think. He's taking decent damage, but he's not like... Oh, that hurt. I was gonna say, I, this, this guy's poised like, he's just... I'm not taking anything. Ow! <laughs> Falling star beast, huh? Nope. Nope. He'll just so I don't do something stupid. Up with the tail, buddy. <laughs> All I gotta do is spit on him. Dropped him in the butt. Hold that for some somber smithing stones. Wait, there's a somber mining, a somber miner's bell bearing there too. Smithing stones, gravity stone chunk, gravity stone chunk, somber stone miner's bearing bell. All right. Well, that was worth it. We can buy somber stones now at the uh, round table, I guess, if I turn that in. All right. So that was worth it. Just for that bell, it was worth it, I think. Arc 2 will probably win game of the year. Uh, that sort of depends on how well it performs, I guess. If it even comes out this year. It's like a lion ant made all made of rocks. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely it's it's definitely some kind of weird. That's for sure. Some kind of weird. Uh, the Celia Ever Jail we already cleared, I think. Street of Sages ruins. I don't know why I have that marked. Uh, there's a nighttime boss here that we can fight that I haven't fought yet. I think it's down over this way somewhere. Healed Highway. Can I teleport? Still too close to the entrance of that thing? Huh. It's not letting me port to any of those. And now I must be under attack because... Can't even pull up my map. Oh, good times. Ooh, there's a thing down here. Welcome to the Swamp of Ionia. Where is it? I'm back, glowy thing. Ah! I'm gonna circle around and come back here. We're like right through. I like these guys. For now and then you get caught in their little Cuisinart attack and it just destroys you. I was stuck at the back of my neck.
It does the same pattern. We, yeah, I know it does, but I, I'm just trying to, uh... <sighs> it burns, like, right there. Okay, so it's gonna come, like, right here. I wanna get it with my sword. Should be able to drag my sword so as it comes through and, like, it's hit. Okay. My little sparkly. Ah, too slow! Eat these things. Hate them. <laughs> yeah, there's no point chasing it, I guess. <laughs> Coming right here. Right here. There we go. Good leaf. Poison armament. Ooh, sweet. That means I can learn how to put a poison spell on my sword. That's cool. I don't know how strong poisons are in this game. From what I've seen, they don't really have a strong effect, but... Use an AOE weapon? Yeah, that would work too. <laughs> I don't understand why the dung beetles are so large in this area. I wonder if it's like an overabundance of dung. None of these things are teleportable to still. You need to stack the poison from what I hear for it to be any good. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's probably why I haven't been noticing it being all that effective then. Because we have that poison bow. Man, when I'm running, riding across here, it sounds like I'm... I'm riding my, uh... My mount through, like, a bathtub or something. Did I got this one already? I did. Hold it. Is this the giant area or is this the scarlet this is the scarlet rot area, like the scarlet rot swampy place? Um I thought down by this road down here there's supposed to be a uh Cathedral of the Dragon. Um there's a boss that spawns down here somewhere at nighttime. One of the bird ones. I get rot out here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, past time? The nightfall? <laughs> Still looks like daytime? <laughs> Did we even pass any time? What happened here? The challenge is I don't know exactly where this boss spawns. There's a couple of these uh, these weird death bird things that spawn in that drop things. Under attack, so I can't, <laughs> can't even look. Already got this one. So this was where the dragons bond in, so it's not going to be here. Killed that guy. Crap. I'd have to look it up. I don't remember where it is. Go to Lake of Rot for the next part of Rani's questline. Oh, right, I forgot about the Lake of Rot. Starlight Shard. Isn't the scenery beautiful? Ooh, is that a cave? There's a cave over there. I 
take us to your cave. How far away is that? I haven't been in these ruins yet. Gated Waypoint Ruins. I don't remember we've been here or not. Got a nasty looking dog. Got multiple friends. Yeah, it looked like one there. Thought I saw one there. What's this? Pest Sclave. That really is called a pest. Well, isn't that funny? How apropos. Ah, dogs! That's a bigger dog! Oh. Faster? Stop it! That gave me rot! Oh no. Alright, hold on. This should have expected rot in this place. Alright, we're good. Toxic mushroom and beast blood. <laughs> Aww, he's an adorable creature. He's so cute. That is not the dog you want to let snuggle up with you in bed. Just saying. May or may not eat your face while you're asleep. There's the way into the ground thing. Plus, you'll make a mess of your sheets. <laughs> they sound so neat when they die. Gonna get the rot and the poison. And will we ever need to call a doctor? What is going on here? Behold life! Oh, this is where the pests like Oh, we found the baby pests. Alright, we're cleaning out the baby pests. Um chopping up a baby bumblebee. Oh, God. There's an adult one in here somewhere, unless the babies can shoot those things, too. Whatever they are. Maybe they're not babies. Maybe they're just different ones. Where are you? Yeah, this place is grotesque. What? Oh, these are all eggs here. Eh, I guess they are babies. Found the hatchery. Gross. Spray raid. <laughs> we need one of those, uh, those insect bombs. You just stick in there and let it spray everywhere. Ooh. Pardon? Meteoric ore blade. Oh, it's even a katana. Causes blood loss buildup. Oh, I already have that though. Slightly better blood loss buildup. Even though it's not leveled, it also scales off of int. 
Katana forged from meteoric ore to dispatch life forms born of falling stars. Deals magic damage. The blade's weighty, known to deliver slashes with, of such ferocity that the impact is said to resemble a crash of a falling meteor. Skill gravitas. Skill originating from the alabaster lords who had stone uh, skin of stone. Thrust the armament into the ground to create a gravity well. In addition to dealing damage, this attack pulls enemies in. I don't have the attributes I need to use this thing, so I may not be able to use the ability for it. There he is. Oh, I like that chop. That's cool. That's the overhead strong attack. There's no, uh, there's no chain attack for this. It's just the one attack for heavy. So no combos there. That would be the meteoric move if I actually had the, uh, <laughs> the, the right intelligence to use it. Cool. Cool, man. Hey, Ashley. Welcome, welcome. Uh, right. Easily distracted, but we're going this way. We're gonna check out this, uh, this cave over here. Surrounded by rot flowers. Rose by any other name would smell as sweet, unless it was a rot blossom. Big mess. Now you're rot. Ah! Come on! Ah! It's like getting hit by the punching bag. That's no good. I don't need to kill those. No spells. Ooh, there's something over there, too. And something over there! Oh my god. Okay, all kinds of stuff here I hadn't discovered yet. Thought we had already uh, pretty much cleaned up this, this whole swampy space. Wait a minute, wasn't there a cave here? Am I in the wrong spot? I thought this is where I thought I saw a cave right here. I was lied to. I mean, there's that one down there, but I don't, I don't think that's what I saw from a distance. Maybe it was just a dark patch on the rock, and I thought it was a cave. Yeah, it's probably what it was. All right, but at least there's this one over here. Yeah, it looked like it, but it's not. It was just like a dark spot on the stone. But it did lead me to find this over here. I wouldn't have found this if I hadn't come checked it. No idea what this is, but we're gonna find out. Stone sword key lost with use. Oh, a jail cave. Okay. Renark, nice. Nicey, nicey. Uh, maybe I should actually make sure I've got... Actually, my stuff's refilled, okay. I was gonna rest there just to make sure I had my uh, focus points available to me, but... Looks like it's already been recharged. Golden rune. Eeny, miny, mo. Oh, that's not even an entrance. All right. Makes that easy. Two new missions from last week pay 600 RP, 200 exotics, done in seven days, plus have three exotic spawn locations. Nice. In terms of, like, uh, the exotic spawning on the ground, you mean, or in, like, caves? Big whiff. Oh, wait a minute. Is this door gonna be locked? It's gonna be locked. Not even the door. 
the access to this if I can't get in? Never mind. Found it. Exotic spawning on the ground of mine. Oh, nice. Those ones are my favorite. They take way less. Oh, God. Should have known. Should have known. <laughs> it was a dead end. Okay, this place. Great. Time for comfort. I comforted him. And his friend. Just in case that door opens later, I don't want them wandering in here. I wasn't expecting that either. <laughs> Oh, see, there is something on the on the ground in there, so I bet you these doors do open at some point. I can't quite reach him. Come here. There you go. Get stabbed, you jerk. So there's probably like a lever or something in here that's gonna open those doors up. A lever two thousand. that guy. Oh, hey, you. He has friends. Labyrinth, the land of a turtle stench. Is this supposed to be stench? Not open from this side. I mean, it looks like it opens from this side. There's the latches and stuff down there. All right, I'll take their word for it. You wear a pincer attack. In short, what was that? Short down. No, oh, there's a dude over there. Let's attack this, you jerk. Look at that, a useful player message. Who knew? Where is this? Uh, it's in Kalid. Hard to describe where it is, exactly. Over here by Fort... By Fort Jail, there's this cave underneath it. Called the Jail Cave. You have to lock it with a stone sword key, and then we're in there now. Doing stuff. <laughs> Curious about all these... ...doors that are locked with stuff behind them. I have to fight all these flaming... Me guys in a minute? Oh, well, that could be problematic. That's me. I'm, I'm like thinning the herd by killing those guys. Uh, it's gotta be this way. You wanna be Zeus? This guy wants to go home. Whoever that was.
There's a lot of blood here. Ah, I thought so, you sneaky little rat. And the people in this game sure eat a lot of turtlenecks. Or I thought they were just a shirt. Join Core Keeper, it's fun. Yeah, we're gonna be playing more Core Keeper. Uh, so, what's today? Today's Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow night, I'm gonna be playing a new game that I got uh, a key for called Expedition Zero. It's like this, um, like almost like a horror style game. Wow, that's poison. Um, I'm gonna avoid those. Uh, yeah, it's like this horror adventure kind of game. I don't know how to describe it exactly. I've, I saw the, uh, they had like a demo out for it, but I guess the full version of the game's coming out now. Uh, on th Thursday, we're gonna be playing Planet Crafter. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna have a stream on Friday night, uh, because I'm gonna be participating in, uh, in an early alpha for a game. Um, to try out something new, and then on Saturday we'll be having the, uh, the all-day stream, of course, uh, starting at noon Eastern Time. Uh, so we'll probably play some more, uh, some more Cave Keeper during that, uh, that 12-hour stream. Splinter and Shredder Soup. <laughs> There's the lever in question. So opening that, I'm sure, is going to open up a whole can of worms. No hidden path. He's lying. Greetings from the HS. My freaking heart is giving out. Huh? Confused. Talk about Willis. Was there a door down there? Down where? Down here? There is. The one I couldn't open to get into that other area. Oh god. I knew they were there. Just test to see if they worked. To get to 600 faster. Don't worry, we'll get there. We'll get there. There's no way we're going through an entire stream without dying in this game. That's just not possible. These guys explode, I think, if I remember correctly. Yes, they do. Okay, note to self. Don't get caught in a, a small room with that guy. I just feel like a trap. There's a lot of dead bodies in here, and I don't know why. Alright, whatever. Thank you for testing the bugs. <laughs> oh my god, he blew up in my face! Okay. God, oh god. Ah! 
Did not roll clear the record. At least they do damage to each other. It's not enough to kill them, but it does damage. Stop denying us level 600. It's not my fault I got enough life not going to survive an explosion now. <laughs> Ooh, a Wakazashi! Oh my, wait, wait, wait. Can I dual wield the Uchikatana and a Wakazashi? You can. Neat. Like a power stance with it, but it's a lot smaller. So it's, I don't know how it's going to work. Also does a lot less damage, obviously, because I haven't boosted it, but... Oh! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, there we go. Short sword with a tempering pattern on the blade, a weapon unique to warriors of the Land of Reeds, afflicts targets with blood loss. These swords are considered auxiliary weapons, yet one man's known to wield this weapon in his left hand while using a full-size katana in his right. A demonic swordsman known only as Ukina. Kill his quick step. It still uses my, uh, my unsheath ability, though. Interesting. Welcome to all the new people to Cryptic Fox's channel. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button to keep up to date on all Fox's great deaths. Thanks, Red Dragon. What he said. Do all the things. Burning like you're... There you go. God, it does, like, no damage. <laughs> Oh, that was, oh wait, that's because I'm not, okay, I was punching. Yeah, that, um, that would do a lot less damage. <laughs> Maybe I should put my shield back on. You have to two-hand the left arm room to use the skill, yeah. Yeah, or have it in your main hand. Uh, so I can't get back up that way, but we can come down here and go through that door. That'll get us back up to that upper area. It was this way. Yeah, I didn't have the weapon equipped. For the record, my punching does, like, no damage. Apparently we're just not strong. Gotta hit the gym later. Come on, target him already. Blow up on me, you big jerk. That was the way... That was the drop-off. Yeah, what are the cool things we're gonna find in this place? Oh. Fairly certain this is not the way I came in. Or is it? Maybe it is. That's a dead rat right there. Darn it. Ah, oh, come on. It wouldn't let me target the guy by the gate. You're next. Pillory shield. The pillory or pillory? I don't know. Whatever. Let's see. Made to punish serious felons used as a shield. Though made of good sturdy wood, it's only makeshift tool and performs as such. Perhaps due to its use as a device with, uh, with which the guilty were made to endure prolonged suffering, it raises vitality. Oh, nice. 
can have good blocking capability, though. It's got holes in it. <laughs> uh, I've been seven months free of cancer. Awesome, Shannon. That's congratulations. Hopefully it'll be another 70 years or something. I don't know how old you are, so I'm just, I'm just I'm gonna say a lot. <laughs> Turn around. Yeah, it's for the, yeah, the the head, the hands of the comics or whatever. They pick them in town square with their head in the stocks. Okay, I think we've cleared this place out. Nice. A bit of bonus loot. Hard to hear that laid back country. What's new with your build, Fox? I haven't uh, had time to watch Elden Ring in a, in a minute. Uh, it depends on what the last time was that you saw. So, I've boosted up my Vigor quite a bit. We're at 39 Vigor now, which gives me quite a bit of health. Um, we have the Rune that we got from Radon, which also gives us a health boost. I put a few more points in Dexterity, so we're up over 30 on that now. And then, uh, I don't know, we got, the, we got this cool armor that we found. We killed some guy guarding a tree and was wearing this armor. Or he had the armor in a chest or something and we got to take it. That go. That's gotta go somewhere I already was, right? Take it anyway. Darn it. Of course it did. Yeah, we're up to 599 deaths. That's another update, I guess. <laughs> Haven't hit the big 600 yet. Sure, we'll get there tonight, though. Wouldn't want to disappoint anyone, you know? Are there more gates up here? I don't remember. Guess not. Alright, we're free! Did it. Did a thing. I have some runes I should probably spend to level up. No, I can't. Never mind. Uh, but I might be able to consume some runes, and that will get us what we need. The inventory we go. Yeah, we're rolling along well tonight. So far. I haven't done anything really noteworthy tonight. Just kind of been exploring a couple things I hadn't tackled before. 52,000 and change. How oh, was it? 56 I needed or 52 and change? Ah, yeah, that's enough. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna put this into dexterity again. Could just jump off a cliff or something to make everybody happy. Man, all you guys are just like bloodlust. You're all vicious, bloodlusting heathens. And not that that's surprising or anything, you know. Okay, I'm on, I wonder what's up with this uh, this tree thing over here. I bet you it leads me to that cave I just left. Let's see where this guy goes. Didn't activate it. Maybe because I already did the cave. Yeah, no chance to activate that one, so it must be, uh, probably just leads me to the cave since I've already done it, I can't, uh, can't tackle that one. That ahead of me. Hey, there's a pumpkin head guy over here, what? Oh, what's going on over here? Is it having a party or something? I want to join the party. Ow. 
rid of the spellcasters first. <laughs> no spells for you. One year. Oh god, they got they got the dreaded fire. It's me. I didn't miss either that time. What is his friends breathing fire over here? He's hitting the sauce. I didn't wish he could hit his friend with that. I'm not gonna lie. Come here, you. Got some bolts. <laughs> Mods, ban all the Death Witchers. <laughs> Trouble is, <laughs> that's the primary source of all the Death Wishing. What are you looking at? Nothing. That's what you're looking at. that up here. Number smithing stone. I think this keep up here was where we teleported to the Radon castle, right? Big purple beam over there. That. What's that beam? All right, minds want to know. All right, I'm not sure what else we haven't actually done out here in Kaled. Uh The map is not super helpful. It's all just shades of brown. A little bit of red thrown in for extra torture. We might have done what we can here for now. <laughs> I just keep saying Nightbot got lazy, but is what's Nightbot missing? Patrick Fox also watching uh, Sitch and Adam while playing Icarus and eating beef and broccoli for dinner. Now that's multitasking for you. Had chicken and broccoli for dinner last night. Yummy. Is there anything over here I haven't done? I already checked up here though. Giant heads are creepy. This map's crazy. Okay, uh, let's go to that, uh, let's go to that river that we, we found. Where, I don't know, where was it? It was like some underwater swampy thing. Where was that? What was that? Was that up here? Capital Rampart? No. Divine Bridge? No. Or that Ronnie quest. Where was that now? I cannot remember. Shoot. The Lake of Rot. Yeah, where's the Lake of Rot? Be over here.
Oh, that's the capital. I wonder if we can beat this guy here now. Fought him in a while. Big dude. Stun him. His head. Come on. Oh, it's his chest. Got him. Well, they did a good, good chunk of damage to him. For a second, I thought he was going to run off. Maybe he can't. I never noticed there's the portal over there, too. Ow. There you. Ah, oh, smoke now. When we came here the first time, uh, we definitely were not prepared to fight that guy. Be the gnat. <laughs> Blessed do, talisman. Slowly restores hit points. So there is a portal over here, which I suspect is the way to get into the, the main part of the city. Because this section's kind of isolated. But I'm not really ready to go in there yet. I'll go find the Lake of Rot. Don't remember where it is. Art. These water rivers, some turning the Inquisitor Chamber. That's for the that was all the lava stuff. Where on earth was the Lake of There it is. Lake of Rot Seashore. Found it. <laughs> Fox is we're not OP. Just that we're uh, we're starting to encounter things that we're probably more effectively leveled for than was before. Yeah. Ooh, there's stuff over there. Can I ride in here? Not ride in here. So we get to run through the rot to get to whatever that is out there. That great. I'm sure, it's totally worth it too. Yeah, like rot new vacation site. What? Let's make some more of these, uh, preserving things, because I'm sure we're gonna need them. Uh, oh, and I should actually change up my spells also, because I might want to be able to cleanse myself in here. Remember I spell. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with the Rot Breath, because I suspect that's not super useful down here. Flame Cleanse Me. What's this spell here? Hold on a second now. This. Order healing. Alleviates death blight buildup. No. Nope. about that. Fire negation. Assassin's approach. No. Nope. No. Beast of Vitality heals hit points over time. There's that poison armament weapon uh, ability. Bell, whatever, incantation. I'll go with this, uh... You know what, let's just go with a regular fireball thing. Way to throw fire at people. Now we don't always have to throw the lightning. The lightning's more expensive. Oh, that's easy. They can give me the map, like, right away. Yeah, that looks great. This, uh... This is definitely gonna be the winning vacation spot of the year. No, no questions. Uh, oh god, it builds up fast, too. Ah, Scarlet Rot! 
I wish that thing, like, actually gave you some resistance to the buildup, too, as opposed to just, uh... As opposed to just curing it. I've even got the, uh, with the rune that we got from Radon, we should be getting some extra protection against Rot, but... It's sure not all that strong. Swimming a lot of lifeguard, yeah. Really more of a waiting pool, anyway. Got that rot goodness. I can see we're gonna go through a lot of healing potions here. No, I no. Yes, yes, that's totally what I meant to do. Yep, that that was that was totally planned. <laughs> Apparently, there's more of those, <laughs> or hopefully, more of those. A rot grease. Ooh, rot grease, man, that's handy. Ah, oh god. They're like basculets, basculets, but they're even more evil looking. That's not right, man. It's not right. Oh no! No, oh, get out of the, get out of the death. Oh no! Suddenly oh. swapped up the wrong weapon. No, no, Not again. Oh good, I'm getting more of them. Fabulous. Nope, gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Don't kill me. I'm too young to die. Peace. Those guys suck. Maybe I should have uh, memorized that spell that lets me get rid of the death buildup. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna need it. It's really slow going. Sorry to everyone who's still wishing for my demise. Uh, I thought maybe I would have the ability to pop up more of these floor things. Seems, uh, it's not really accessible. Maybe each one of these things with a pillar probably has another one of those floor things we can hit. Yes, come to me. No. Let's... Less dramatic than I thought it would be. <laughs> this one gave me like whole big chunks of floor. This one just gave me like a tiny little thing. I want to see what that is out there. Yes, yes, Scarlet Lot. Blah, 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 blah. Go, go, go! Tomber Smithing Stones! It was a long way to run just for some Somber Smithing Stones. Yeah, it would be funny if I got out here in the middle and there was like more of those Basilisk things. That would have been great. Awesome. I don't want to go around the outer wall and see if there's like anything secret hidden there, but I also don't really want to get rot dead.
my god, how am I going to have enough healing for this? <laughs> this is insane. Oh god, I rolled in it. Ah. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Gross! You're a jerk! Peace. This place is dangerous, man. Uh, what can I do if you kill Nephili early game? Who's Nephili? If it's an NPC that you need, then you have to get like a... Uh, uh, what's it called? Um, the item? The dew drops or whatever. These things here. You need the Celestial Dew and take that to the Church of Vows to absolve you of your sins, and then the NPC will come back. There's no response. Ignoring me now. Let's face it, you're the only danger to yourself. No, there's other dangers here. I'm just the greatest danger to myself. There is a difference. Oh, got it. Is that a critter over there, or is that just a weird tree thing? I don't like the way that moved. That looks like a dragonkin or something. That's gonna be problematic, probably. I wonder if I had uh, known that that was going to come up if I could have ridden it up by like hitting the button and then getting out there in time. Here we go now. Worried about death. Go to him, there's a good katana. A good katana. Um, I don't have a lot of healing left though. That's my. Well, I got five of them, I guess. That's not that bad. I guess each time I kill a batch of those basilisks, I'm getting, uh, getting a recharge of my heals, maybe. There's also the dude way out there. I don't know what his deal is. Oh, it's one of those archer guys. Maybe I shouldn't piss him off. I think this bow has that kind of range. I got to line up. There we go. Yeah, it's falling short. Oh, right in the head. <laughs> like, who shot me? I'm going over him now. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going over. <laughs> That's better. Oh god, he's got a bow too. Ow, his accuracy's better. Yeah, there we go. I couldn't target him, but... He's just far enough away that I can't, uh, can't rely on the... 
auto targeting thing. That's me. Say, I was surprised that guy's missing me. Okay, he's not anymore. <laughs> this is a weird, weird way to kill him off, but whatever. It's like I'm, I'm hitting him just as he's releasing his shot and it's throwing the shot off. On, die already. Now. <laughs> All right. I wonder if he dropped anything now. Alright, minds want to know. It's not cheese. It was just using a bow, man. Not every time I kill something is a cheese, you know. Immunizing horn charm. Okay, I probably want that. <laughs> Every time I kill something I would die against cheese. Alright. Alright, you win. You win. Uh, I should probably be using this here. Gotta do something to boost my uh my resistance to the rot. God that place pissed me off so much, finished it last night, did you? We just got here tonight. I'm, uh, so far I'm thrilled. <laughs> this place is great. God, I thought it was greatly increasing my resistance. It doesn't look all that great. I can't target that thing and that concerns me. Oops, I'm gonna do that. Okay, that is definitely what I thought it was. Really rather not go in the rod if I can avoid it. Ow! Oh god! He, he submerged me in it! Get up out of the rot! Oh! <laughs> okay, well, there's my first death. That was great. Well, I didn't roll in the rot. He, like, submerged. He, like, knocked me flat on my back in it. It was like I was swimming or something. Oh, well, that was, I want to say, uh, great. That was great. Mission was great. Uh, there should be a thing I could use to boost my immunity here. Instead of, like, flame grant me strength. Where's my immunity booster? Uh, shockwave, fire negation, magic. Maybe it's poison. 
build up and cures poison. That's not what I want. Maybe it's death blight build up. Let's let's have that ready. Because <laughs> that seems like a good option. Reed's Barry with a super chat. Six hundred. Yay! Thanks, Reed's. Hit the super chat. Oh, that archer I spent all that time killing is going to be back, too. What a jerk. Let's go, I guess. Maybe this, uh, that charm doesn't really help with buildup of rot. Maybe it just works with poison. It's not feeling terribly effective so far, you know? What is that? Oh, wrong button. Having flashbacks? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Why did the arrow bring that guy out? That's weird. Not an actual object. I'd like. Oh god! I would like to try to pull the. Uh, pull the dragon thing over to this. This one here, so it's at least closer. Alright, so, um, so I have more room, rather. Get to grab your runes. Yeah, I don't know that I had all that many of them, but we'll grab them. Yeah, like 9,800 or something. Not crazy. Go, go, go! Okay, a little bit more maneuvering room here if I can actually get him to fight me here. Oh, I jumped into it. That's going great. Whoops. Hey, Crypto, if you plan on playing Project Zomboid during the charity stream, you should try the Floor is Lava mod. The Floor is Lava mod. I really haven't played mods at all on uh, Project Zomboid yet. Yeah, more death numbers. I kill the dragon to get an electric sword. Oh, I have to plug it in? The rechargeable? Does he use battery packs, or is it like uh, extendable cord kind of thing? Oh shoot. He 
least in my focus points. How weird that that brings that guy out. Second he started the stream, Fox died. This happens to you quite frequently. That's because I die quite frequently. That's the dirty little secret no one wants to tell you. Poison me. A jerk. Okay, can I shoot him from here? I would prefer not to have to run out there again. I can avoid it. Come on. Give me my runes. <laughs> it's definitely hitting him, but... Scarlet Rollick battery ass or what? I don't know. It's just definitely not friendly, though. No question about that. Um... I guess we should pull up some, uh... Fighter dudes. That's weird. There's like a there's a point at which oh oh god that hurt. <laughs> he just scattered my shield guys everywhere, and I'm not using the right tools. Take the chance to heal, though. Got him right in the tuckus. Oh! Rude! Oh, get him out of the. Get out of this. <laughs> They're still throwing bombs on him. No, they're smoking my, uh, smoking my shield, dudes. Oh my god, this is doing no damage. 
So lightning is not his weakness, clearly. Sword to the butt appears to be. Got him. Great enemy felled. Dragon scale blade, you say? Well, it's even a, it's a katana too. Weapon made by sharpening a gravel stone scale, thought to be the source of the ancient dragon immortality, into an unclouded weapon or unclouded blade. Alas, the dragon skin soldiers never attained immortality and perished as decrepit, pale imitations of their skyborn kin. Unique skill, Ice Lightning Sword. Call down a bolt of ice lightning into the blade to bring it down upon a foe. The ice lightning effect will persist for a while. Oh, that's a cool looking blade. Look at that pummel on it. So same, uh, same light attack se set. Same heavy attack set as the one I'm using. Uh, I think I'm just lacking the focus points to fry it right now. Hey, hold on. I gotta wait till I get some focus points. This does like 110. It's obviously way below my set level 17. That's pretty sweet. Oh, it doesn't add a bleed effect either. Hmm. Oops. So no bleeding with that thing. Uh, I need more... I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have some real problems here in a second. About here in the middle of nowhere. Let me go see what's in that temple over there. Maybe there's a, uh... There's a grace point there. I need to get my focus points back. Long way over there. Uh, this is gonna hurt a lot. And we do wield katanas? We could, yeah. I forgot that one boosted up though, it's just not, uh, it doesn't have the damage output I'm gonna need. Totally what I meant to do. There's a ladder here. Want to climb down or kick down? All right. Uh, I wasn't really prepared to go up here yet. Am I forgetting I can teleport? Yeah, I could go back to the beginning. I guess I was just trying to oh, trying to avoid it if I could. Who's your daddy and what does he do? I've seen you before. Oh, God! Oh, and off the side into the muck. That's just great. <laughs> well, that, that went perfectly. Exactly as I planned it. Oh. Hey, look, I got my focus points back. <laughs> we we didn't find a grace point out there yet. Yeah, we didn't uh, didn't 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 get there. Uh, I have no idea how to get up there now that I did the whole elevator thing. Unless the elevator came back down. <laughs> that was glorious. I just love that he not only did he did he decide to impale me, but he also decided to be a great idea to throw me off the side. Because the impalement wasn't insult enough, you know. Here. I'm messing with me game. Oh, sure. It's not going to work this time. After all those other times it worked. Yeah, there was a ladder, but I... I 
I wasn't sure if I could get onto the rocks where the ladder went down before... Uh, before the elevator goes up. Oh, shoot. Alright, we'll just get straight across here. Suck it up and run. Here's when the guy drops now. I need to loot the dragon stuff over there, too. There was those, uh... Bodies that were by the dragon. You know what suck is if you only get like one shot at that guy up there because you can't get back up or something. Actually, my, my runes are up there. I, I hope I can get up there. <laughs> Beacon Cantation. Is this an incantation over here? Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 22. Next time you're low on FP, if you uh, have a Starlight Shard, you can pop one. Oh, I kind of forgot about those, to be honest. I, I'm, it, it's yet again one of those items that I collected and then held on to the intention that at some point in the future I might need it. <laughs> I actually probably have a whole lot of Starlight Shards. Yeah, I've got seven of them. Man, this would suck really, really bad if you didn't have incantations in here. You'd have to have just like a ton of those anti-rot things. How do I get up there? Serving. There we go. I need those. This one's a waterfall. It's a rotterfall. Okay. So we can go down the stairs on the other side there. I feel like there's more to be found out here still. Go to big place to get grace first. Yeah, but where? Uh, this is where I am. I'm at a big place. Guessing the grace is down here. Now oh, there it is at the bottom. Grace acquired. I totally want to go down in there and check that out, but I, I still want to see what's out here first, because if I leave the outside part, I'm going to completely forget about it. That's how my brain works. Or doesn't work. I guess maybe. If Willy Wonka had a dungeon, this would be it. I don't know, there's a, there's a surprising lack of blueberry here. Dashing through required ahead. Is this a Christmas thing? Where's the ladder?
Got it. Ah! Okay, now we're good. I knew the ladder was on the side, but I also knew it went down to rocks. I just wasn't sure if we could get onto the rocks, but we can, so we're good. Problem solved. Crisis averted. Hot fruit punch lake. Hmm. That's what everybody wants. Hot fruit punch. Gross. I don't even know why I have to get by this guy, but I feel like I need revenge. And you know revenge always ends positively, so gotta go for it. I'm, I'm totally gonna roll off this thing again. Get back, Seb. I'm too tall. Ow! Stop killing me! Stop killing me! Vampire, undead elf, whatever it is he's mean. Alabaster Lord Sword. Man, we got lots of swords tonight. Uh Alabaster Lord Sword. It's a great sword. Forged from a blue white meteoric rock. Or sorry, meteoric ore rather. The blade conceals gravity manipulating magic, a weapon unique to the Alabaster Lords, a race of ancients with a skin tone who were said to have risen to life when a meteor struck long ago. This is the Alabaster Lord's Pole. There's a, a few, number of those different weapons that have the, uh... that gravity effect to them. It takes 18 intelligence to use it. We ain't smurt enough. Ain't got no smurts. That's right, showed him. Got our vengeance. Wow, we got 76,000 runes now, too. That guy must have given me a chunk. Hey, 40%, how you doing? Armor smithing stone. Cool. Yeah, he totally impaled me a little bit and sort of threw me off the side, you know. I'm sure it was intended as a friendly gesture, but I didn't really take it as such. Okay, I'm going to spend these runes. Uh, let's go down here. Hey Wolfie, how you doing? You go get yourself some smurts. Alright. All about the smurts, man. Outside is a big tall mushroom helm. <laughs> I says pardon. Uh I'm gonna keep dumping into decks, I guess, for now. I should probably boost my arcane up too. I am this I feel like every time I like, Oh, look at all the stuff down there. When I play this game, I feel like there's always like just a ton of, ton of things I want to put my points into. I was over 70k when I- oh, I was, huh? Oh, right, because we killed the dragon can. I forgot about that. We probably got a good chunk off the dragon can. See? Remember, like, a sieve. I mean, he, I'm sure he gave us some, too, but... Bulk of them were probably for the a dragon can. Where did I, where did I fight that thing? I want to get uh collect from the little body things out here. Oh, don't roll in it. Oh, Dennis, there's some lovely muck down here.
Okay, we found more islandy things. Well, translation, every time you play this, you don't plan ahead and get distracted when you level. Um, shh. Quiet, Ashley. Those are trade secrets. not lack of planning it's just lack of mental fortitude it's not the same thing you know oh shoot the darn thing that's eh, better i'm too soon little jerk it's gonna hurt Die already. <laughs> I love the little posture. It's almost like he's stretching. It's like, oh god, that was a good nap. The mental.exe was not installed. Yes, that's right. that for some golden runes now that I don't like runes or anything but... okay there's a building over here it looks like I want to go check that out I see all the things scarlet rot my favorite And with the smithing stones. Get away. I'm not targeting him already. Okay, killing those guys got me recharged too, so that's good. Uh, and then over there was the starting area, so we've kind of come full circle now. Well, almost for full circle. There was still like a section back here we didn't go to, I guess. Yeah, as an archer wandering around. We killed him once already with uh, a little bit of arrow cheese, but. Oh, shoot. Oh, God, I misused. That's bad. I'm bad. I'm gonna run out of magic. Definitely, definitely gonna run out of magic. This rot's definitely not from Kmart. Yeah, I can't use the horse here, unfortunately. Oh, that cost me a lot. Uh, I can see more of the butterflies over there. I can't tell if there's anything like a little cave opening or something there, maybe. Or if it's just an indent. It'd be a whole lot better if I actually hit him with the arrows. There we go. And I'm dead. Nap stretch. Oh, so good. T 
Tuesday nights is Jeopardy night. <laughs> yeah. It's Wapner. Come on. Killed you and the frog thing you rode in on. He did basilisk. Right in the eyeball. Or over his head. I got, I got some of my stuff back. You get some of the horse, but he's ignoring your phone calls. Yeah, it's like, come here, horse. Come here. He's not interested. He's like, are you kidding? Have you seen what you're walking in? I'm not doing that. Forget it. Sweet little basilisk. Oh god. Peace. Hopefully it's clear in there. Oh, it's not. Perfect. I think he came wandering out. <laughs> yeah, I might have one just went running in there and had to fight him inside. Threaten to send the horse to the glue factory. Like, listen here. In my mouth, you do as you say. I say. We can go to the factory. Glue. Okay, let's see what's in here. Anything good? Anything good? Basilisk, of course. Of course there's a basilisk in here. Why wouldn't there be? There's nothing in here either. This sucks. <laughs> of course. Target him. You can't even target the guy. There we go. Okay, well, I guess killing him got me a refresh on my flask, so... Alright. Could've been worse. Only three deaths is clear of Master of the Game. Yeah, clearly not. We've, we've just been exploring more than anything. The fights haven't been all that serious. So far. Master of the Game. <gasps> Oh my god. Why, game? Just why? Yes. All that for some smithing stones. <laughs> Leave a message for others to see. Ah, there's already so many unhelpful messages. I don't know that they really need another one. You know what's funny is I probably could have gone up over here. Got the basilisk from above and then not even had to fight him. Crap! <laughs> Good job. As long as we're down here.
Oh, there is something up here. All right. More basilisks out there. I guess we'll just grab this thing and then teleport back. Oh, that's the mushroom hat you were talking about. Giant mushroom crown. <laughs> uh, mushrooms found growing all over the body. These overgrown mushrooms form a towering headpiece. Raises attack power when someone nearby suffers from poison or rot. Long ago, great lords uh, served the scarlet rot. Perhaps such fungal bloom, uh, such fungal bodies rather, served as their crowns. <laughs> there are some interesting helmets in this game. I'll give them that. Definitely some interesting helmets. Oh wait, I just teleport. Why am I running? Let's. Okay, I'm pretty sure we've cleansed this whole lake area out, although it looks almost like there's an entrance to something here. But I didn't see anything when we were over there. Looks like there's something right here also, but I don't know where that is. In that little nook over there. All right, Quarry Minds want to know. I'm going to go look. Where did where, people know you're a fun guy? Yeah. How is there a square thing on the, on the map, but there's, like, nothing here? You know, it's there. It's a basilisk. So I'm right by the spot. It's got to be a drop. Yeah, I don't see like an entrance here anywhere. Okay, just teleport. Just snacked on a quarter gram of mushrooms. A little bit of psilocybin for a snacky time. What this place has to offer. Grand Cloister. I feel like a little cloister phobic. I like this. I'm supposed to drop over there. Cliff to drop off, it's on the cliff above, I guess so. Got a little light on the things in here. How did they get on that side? I want to get on that side. I have a feeling if I get over there, the oh wait, here we go. You you jump and move while you're in midair, like. You can. <laughs> His message is be like, there's literally no reason to come here. <laughs> well done! <laughs> now go back, because this isn't the way you're supposed to go. <laughs> oh, we got mean guys down there. A plethora of them. Can't crawl under there. We gotta go here. We'll go down there. <laughs> you don't see me. It's fine. I don't want to drop on them as they go by. Get that fall damage. Did it recharge my potions? It does automatically when you uh, when you teleport like that because you're you're coming up basically the same as resting at the uh, uh, resting at the point of grace. Oh god, 
God, that hurt. Oh, I'm very dead. Okay, note to self. The drop attack, not effective. <laughs> Okay, instead maybe we'll just shoot them from above where it's safer. I want to get down low enough I can actually get a decent shot on them, but... Plunk. Uh... Plunk. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, oh, sneaky. Gonna hide there. What about you guys? You want some too? Fire arrow in the face. Ooh, fire works well on him. <laughs> I got his friend when I was shooting at him. It looks like their bodies are big enough that when they're, when they're walking the one direction, even with the shot being off, it still, uh, still gets them. Cool. Stuff kind of hurts. You no, know? hurts my feelings. Okay, it's not cheesing it. It's a bow. That's what they're for. It's tactics, skill, raw, pure, unadulterated skill. <laughs> Golden Rude 10. What's up with this? Be wary of bloodstain. Oh. Hacky tactics. Arrow tactics. No, oh, this guy's having a bad day. Probably trying to fight those, uh, those two of it once or something. Come on, friend. No surprises. No surprises. Oh, of course there's a surprise. Of course there's a surprise. Just run! Just run! Oh, it's one of these guys! Oh, right in the mouth. And there's a spider on my wall right above my desk. And I'm very dead. For the record, he killed me. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't even know what I got for going over there. Hold on one sec, I gotta kill the spider. On the plus side, my uh, 
My runes should be an easy spot to get them. Invaded by an alien freak. You ate legged freaks! That was less than successful. In case you were curious. Oh my god, the range on those things! Fuck, still that. I, I wanna- I wanna kill this thing! I wanna kill it. Logically, I'm going to draw it out again. Ah! Hold still! There we go. Come here, you. Oh, I'm in the floor. <laughs> Hope it'll get stuck. Ow. I think I just got vaporized. Where am I? And heal. Oh God! <laughs> he just dropped his head on me. And again. I'll oh, stop that. Shield up, but it didn't matter. Oh, 
There you go. You're gonna die. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Whew, revenge. Ooh, got a golden seed too. All right, we got him. I think I forgot to hit the button for uh, the last death, so we should be at 605, right? Woo. Okay, now I'm curious what's over here, if there's anything else. Is the uh, rot waterfall hiding anything? Probably just rot. And more rot. I'm low in health already. As often as you jump right duck, you should get the claw talisman. Don't you have to have the claw though to use the claw talisman? I mean I have the claw talisman, I just don't use it. Right here. Enhance the jump attacks. Oh! You know what? Probably would be good. I need more spots to hold more talismans at once. I need the one that lets me increase my carry capacity, because otherwise I can't wear the armor I'm wearing. Uh, I could probably swap it out for the um, the one that increases my damage, but lets me take more damage. Yeah, I'm not walking to that waterfall. This looks like dick. Have to pull them in one at a time. That's, there's way too many there to fight all at once. I think I'm gonna swap out this talisman for now. We'll try out the uh, the claw one. Does multi poke ash with the sleep sword make a stun state crit hit all the time? Uh, I don't know. I mean, the uh, the sleeping sword is already super effective. But it seems like, when I was trying it out, it seemed like it, um... That's cheating. It seemed like I had a drop-off, or there was a point where they would just start to resist it, or, like, it wasn't working anymore. Unless maybe it was just the particular enemy I was trying it on. I'm taking so much damage in here. Insane. Yeah, this guy next to him is like, what's going on? <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing. On stamina. You gotta try to die another thing? Yeah. It's, uh, we faced that particular kind of enemy a few times in the game. Oh, what the? I thought he was gonna cast his, uh, web shot or whatever that thing is. Turns out I was wrong.
a ghost glove wart. Ah, oh, that was it. We've got a crazy number of smithing stones down here. Fan daggers. Over here. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck of a woodchuck could chuck wood? Probably a lot. Oh. This is another one of those, uh... Coffin rides things here. Oh, you, oh God, you can. Oh, I didn't mean to do it. <coughs> it is a coffin ride. Oh no. I hope I can go back that way. Cause I, I wasn't done there. There was at least, well, I guess I could teleport. Oh my god, look at this. Uh, ah! It'd be funny if it goes, you died. <laughs> yeah, I did kill those things for nothing. What a mess. That's a boss there? I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, scarlet rot. He's like, what happened? No backsies. I, I killed all those things for nothing. That is so annoying. Oh yeah, we broke 600 a while ago. I wonder if I ride back up to the top, I wonder if they're still there. Can I even ride back up to the top? Is this a one-way coffin ride? Sure looks like it is. Son of a... How did I go th down a waterfall of rot and end up in a place where it's not rot? Where even am I? Yeah, take me back. Take me back. I have no healing either. This is great. Everything is awesome. Oh, yeah, it is a boss. A boss thing right over there. Well, what are the odds? Well, I mean, we have a respawn thing here, right? That's what this is? A little respawn statue? So, at least if I die to the boss... How did people die out here? <laughs> they kill themselves? How do they work? Alright. Uh, at least if I die to the boss, I can spawn out here and then I'll have healing again. Uh, let's get our shield guys ready, though. Oh! Hey, dude! Oh! Dude! Uh, I'm not wearing the right equipment. Oh, jeez. It's a good thing he doesn't have good reach, or this would be troublesome, you know? I have no healing, so pretty much screwed. Oh wait, I do have some healing. No! Okay, now I have healing. <laughs> well? That's the thing that happened? Already with the freaking lasers, I know, right? Is this the boss that caused the destruction of the Eternal City? I don't know, it could be. I mean, look at him in there. Messing around with his stuff and things. Um, I'm gonna want a different shield, I think. Because this one has higher magic resist. I'm thinking that's magical. Um, we could also probably swap out Radigan's sword seal. What the hell? We could swap out Radigan's sword seal and maybe put on the one for Talisman.
Um... All right, good times. This is gonna go great. I wonder if I should go with jellyfish or the or the shield guys. Yeah, from blocking blades and I'm blocking lasers. That was Astel, natural born of the void. I'm gonna separate myself from their shieldy goodness. Oh, getting the timing for that is gonna be tricky. Surprise! Oh god, surprise on me. Oh, oh god, that hurt. Did I get him? I can't even tell if I hit him. Ow. This is a weird fight. I don't even know what to expect. What? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. That's right, shoot the shield, guys. Oh, I need my runes. Me, I'm trying to heal over here. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> he just ate me. Well, that's the thing that happened. Ate my body. At least I did more damage to him that time. I avoided a couple of hits of his uh, spell blast. Okay, I feel like uh, the shield guys are not gonna really do a ton here. Let's try jelly jelly. Jelly jelly, bobelly, or maybe uh, you know what? Maybe this the uh, my copy. Copy might be a good option. God. Might have been wrong. Coming for you. <laughs> what the? I'm flying, and I'm not flying. That hurt a lot. Heal. Get him, Mimic. Oh, where'd he go? I my back turned to him somehow. <laughs> Ow! Oh, God! This is a weird fight. Uh, what the? I want that spell. Come on, just let me up. Is it gonna hurt? Whoa! 
Ow! No, no, don't eat me! Ah, oh, no, no, don't die, don't die! <laughs> oh, God. And dead. Well, there's that. <laughs> he ate my body. Okay. Well, we got farther that time. <laughs> this counter should be 608. Did I miss one? Yeah, there we go. Neat! You just chewed me up and pooped me out. Oh, I just wasted it. I did not mean to do that. Great. Get out of the way of that one. It's really hard to hit because the camera keeps moving around. Ow. Eating my copy. I can't hit him. <laughs> it's up too high. Can't. E I can't even see. I wonder if my uh, my mimic tier can heal itself. Oh boy, this is gonna hurt. Goes my mimic tier. Oh, am I dead? I'm not dead. Is there no avoiding that? That's ridiculous. <sighs> uh, I heard if you put a warming stone in your inventory, then the mimic will use it to heal itself. Oh, really? I've never used the warming stone. Uh, let's try that. Can't hurt. Stone. Used to continuously heal nearby allies. Alright. Why not?
I can't help it, I'm just so tasty. I, I, I thought I could roll through it, but uh, that didn't work. I think I lost... Oh god, did I lose runes? I think I might have forgot to pick up my runes. It's great, because I was, you know, like 70,000 or so. Where even are my runes? <laughs> There's my room. Hey, where'd they go? I'm gonna turn around. Yep, I forgot to pick them up. That's great. Ah, there we go. Got the stun finally. Oh, he! T oh, look at that! He took the crit hit. You can do this. He's still alive. of the natural born human unlocked well I lost like 70,000 runes but we got 80,000 back so that's something I guess yeah first guy first try zero deaths spend those before I lose them so way to show up one of the hardest bosses. Is this one the hard one of the hardest? It didn't seem like it. It was just he's just a little awkward to hit because his head's always flying around. Uh put that in the decks again, I guess. So it seems like there's two exits out of here. This is the way I came in, right? Down down there. What's at this end of things? Yeah, I don't. I I didn't notice whether he did use the warming stone or not, but um, he might have because he did last longer that time. Wait, or is this the way it came in? Ah, crud. Ah, crud. <laughs> it's right the wrong way. Uh, yeah, this boss was who Radon was keeping back, so it's a bit harder than other bosses. Oh. I wonder if they nerfed this boss at the same time as they nerfed Radon. Apparently after we beat Radon, they nerfed him.
He did heal himself, but didn't really do a whole lot. Kind of cool, though. Yeah, I wouldn't expect it's it's like a significant heal, because it's just supposed to be like a, like a little heal over time effect. Oh, it's an elevator here. Where does this go? I wonder if this is just an alternate way to get into this boss room. Where, like, if we had gone through that doorway that we cleared all those things away from before not doing through. <laughs> Look out, how far up are we going? Oh! Oh, this is an area we couldn't reach before. This was like up on top of, uh... On top of that one weird village thing that we couldn't, uh, couldn't do anything with. Those are like these blue beams of stuff shining. Oh, there's a grace here. Wow, very much travel. Yeah. I still want to go down and see what else is in that building I didn't clear out. Uh, maybe I'll do that before we do up here. Because there's a, the, I mean, there's a few buildings up here. We've got like a tower thing over here. There's something over here. That's cool. Uh, but I want to go back to here, unfortunately. <laughs> like, are you sure? Coffin was the only way I've seen or heard of to get to that boss. That That probably is the only way. Any random lights in Phantom again? Have you taken your medicine first? This is my first playthrough of the game, yeah. I haven't really been pushing to go through like super fast or anything. I've kind of been doing a lot of exploring and trying to find all the little nooks and crannies. Rather than rushing my way through the game, I just... Uh, playing it. Need Dark Moon Ring? Like for down here, there's a thing you need the Dark Moon Ring for? Come on, stop avoiding my arrows. You know how much those cost? He couldn't get there without the ring. Uh, get where without the ring? place I just was? Couldn't get there without the ring. Which which ring are you talking about? Are you talking about the um, the ring we got from Ronnie? Uh, this thing here? Uh, the Dark Moon ring? Alright, so if you don't have that ring, then the coffin doesn't do anything? Is that what you're saying? That we just sort of stumbled upon it by accident? Because I didn't, I had no idea it was there. <laughs> that worked out. Gonna be in Trixie area. I want to change my shield back, actually. Oh, I should actually change all this stuff back. Uh, we got the Radigan Sword Seal, I guess. The claws on, switch my shield back. Flip this for now. Good deal. Has to beat Radon for the boss to even show. Oh. There's so much complexity in this game and all the stuff that's hidden in it. Cool.
Ow. Are those things flying? That's weird. Or at least shrimp shooting arrows at you are the worst. I don't know what they're shooting. It's almost like some sort of like web kind of thing. It is pretty annoying. I hate that I cleared all these out and then went down the coffin and away from them by accident. <laughs> So many arrows wasted. Plus hours in and still haven't beaten the game. I love exploring. Yeah, I, I don't know how many hours I have in it. Not that many. But I'm the same way. I like the exploring aspect of it. Like, I've, I've collected so many things I'm never going to use just by going and exploring. <laughs> Fun, though. Oh, those guys didn't even give me a recharge. That's... I gotta do to get a recharge around here. Get in my head. What about around here? Hiding? Killing the bug uh, thing behind the door. Behind him, you would have been blocked after beating him if you didn't have the ring. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So the ring opens up the, the far side of the, uh, the boss area, I mean? I like the exploration, you do like the hat. I like the hat and the exploration. This feels like trap. I don't trust this game. Anytime they give you something like this, just in an open room. Scorpion Stinger. It's gonna say. Scorpion Singer causes Scarlet Rot buildup. Ooh. Dagger fashion from a squir uh, great scorpion's tail glistening with Scarlet Rot. A ceremonial, uh, ceremonial tool used by heretics crafted from the relic of a sealed outer god. Your repeating thrust. Yeah, but lower something. Why is this not working right? Not, I don't know if it's like my, my button's not responding or what, but it's uh, like there we go. Stabby, stabby. What's this one do? Oh, that's cool. Eat. Goba Baggins wants his sting back. <laughs> his sting didn't cause rot, though. This is, uh, that's good times. Okay, so that's cleaned out. I'm just thinking how they have all these map areas. I wonder if there's, like, some point later on we'll get over into this side of things. Or we can't get there now. Natural born of the void. Okay, we need to go topside now to get back up here. Moonlight Altar. Dagger made from a now tailless scorpion. Sort of takes the sting out of the scorpion a little bit. So many weapons. So many weapons. Alright, let's see what we can find. This looks like a church up here, maybe. Hey guys. 
Need your bones! Oh, I thought the thing ran right off the cliff. It's like I'm... Gotta get away! Off the cliff! Should I consider it a bad sign there's a respawn thing right here? <laughs> Moonfolk Ruins. It's definitely not haunted, right? Represent not haunted. That's a trap. Yep, it was a trap. Oh, you jerks! I don't like you guys! I feel like monkey in the middle. I'm flashbacks to like elementary school or something. Ah! Okay, they're just they're bringing the whole place down now. Oh my god, these guys are such jerks. Ow! Oh my god! Ah, oh, I missed him! Oh, I'm dead! <laughs> Didn't even notice my life total. <laughs> oh yeah, those guys aren't aren't annoying at all. Jeez. I don't like them at all. They're not nice to me. Down. That's me. Because I'm going to kill these guys, there's going to be no point to it at the end. Ah. Oh my god! Two for one. Okay, Jerk, where are you hiding? That better be it. <laughs> That's really annoying. Oh, jeez. Dagger traps mean business, man. We're we blowing the building apart. Wow, these guys are super annoying. Okay, so I was sort of thinking there might be a staircase that goes into like a basement here, because a lot of the ruins have it, but this does not appear to be one of those ruins. Unless I'm overlooking something. I don't see one here. I want to read about the walls that vanish after 50 hits in the game. Yeah, it sounded like it was kind of a bug because it doesn't do the normal vanishing effect when it disappears. It just sort of just like just gone. 
Uh, and then it comes back again later if you rest at a point of grace, apparently, so... Yeah, I kind of wonder if it's just a bug. This place is very shiny. Hey, you look familiar! Miss me. Ah, I'm targeting his head. Oh god, that's gonna hurt. Oh yeah, that did hurt. I was right. Whoa! No, thank you. I didn't mean to get off my horse, and I'm now off my horse. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that sucked. Dude, you're knocking the forest down. What oh, team trees say about that? Try to get a headshot. Oh, I couldn't see. So dead. Shoot. <clears throat> yeah, Deep Forest Station's fake is all the dragon's vault. Yeah, <laughs> he knocked down a few of them. All right, that was a thing that happened. Uh, let's change that to Dragon Moon Grease. He was a cute dragon, right up until the point where he sort of scorched me a lot. Him. 
What the? Whoa! That wasn't cool, for the record. Oh boy. Man, just how? Eat a dragon. Oh, he's not dead. Now he's dead. <laughs> it stunned him. Great enemy filled. Got a dragon heart and a doula's moon blade. That sword spell was ridiculous, man. Like it cut through the building and everything. I wonder if it does that when the player uses it. Starlight shard. Oh, there was a grace point here I could have grabbed. Holy cow. I think we found a couple starlight shards. My inventory's full, I can't carry them all. He deals with his coffin. Awesome. Uh, well, it's about uh, twelve thirty my time, almost twenty to one. I've got to be up for work early in the morning at another busy day. Uh, but uh, thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight. Glad we made some good progress. Killed a couple big things. Checking out new areas of the map and stuff. Good times. Uh, but thanks so much, everyone, for coming to hang out. Uh, if you don't currently subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Come back and hang out with us again. Uh, as a reminder, this coming Saturday, I'll be having a 12-hour live stream. I'll be playing a variety of games from, like, uh, noon until midnight. Uh, that'll be a charity stream in support of Covenant House Toronto that helps to support uh, homeless youth, as well as those who are being trafficked and uh, those who are at risk. Um, so if you want to come and hang out, uh, I hope you can make it on Saturday. Although there will be a second 12-hour stream uh, for the same charity taking place on uh, April 2nd. But if you'd like to make a donation to Covenant House Toronto in the meantime, there is a link in the description that you can go and do that anytime up until April 2nd. Uh, they are accepting donations there. But thank you so much for the support tonight, everyone. Really appreciate it. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.